say no. Nah. Good morning, y'all. Y'all already know the vibes. Teeth nice and clean. And y'all know I'm using that fluoride free. I don't care what you're doing to say. They're not trained in the area of pineal gland. All right, so you already know the vibe. It's time to stretch. Some of y'all might be wondering like, man, does he stretch every day? Yes, I do. I ask anyone who knows me how my morning routine is and they will tell you. If you think about the compound effect, if you stretch 10 minutes a day for just one year, that's 3,650 minutes you stretch. And if you spend that out over 10 years, that's 36,500 minutes that you put your body through a stretch to make sure it's flexible, to keep it nice and loose so it doesn't start breaking down. I'm about to be 30 next year. I've been doing this for like the past seven years and I still feel like I'm 21. Let's get it. So we all stretched out. Now it's time to get to the workout. I'm talking quiet because Shade is still asleep. It's early and we got a super busy day. So today we're hitting chest and our front delts. Let's get it. I'm probably wondering like, man, why don't I just go to a gym? To be honest, I just don't be wanting to waste time. I like to just work out, shower, and get right to my death. <laughs> Pretty much done with chest. Now it's time to finish out with them shoulders. <laughs> side up I like to go behind my butt so I can get myself more range of motion which is making it harder it's like doing a push-up from here versus on the dumbbells letting yourself go back further. let's make our smoothie and then I gotta drive to Fairfield to get a haircut because we're shooting the webinar and the ads for know it outs today it's gonna be a pretty great day let's get it driving to the homie's house to get my haircut He's working on his business right now. So we got a 45 minute drive there. I'll make this smoothie drive back and then we're going to film at two different places and try to get to a nice little beach so we can watch a little sunset. So we'll see how the day goes. But let's make this smoothie real quick. So we got the usual mango, strawberries, cherries, using some kefir. We just found this new flavor, mango. So we're gonna mix it with the strawberries. I'm not putting this in my smoothie, but I'm just taking this obviously. Got our spirulina, new ingredient, put some wheatgrass in there. Kale, blueberries, chia seeds, and oatmeal. Let's get it. One for me and one for my honeybee. All right, so heading out. Got to test this mic out, make sure everything's smooth before I come back. Get this haircut and let's get it. So we got about an hour drive till we pull up at Sean's house. And then me and Sean go head to the barber's house to get cut up. And then we're gonna try to film as much as we can. Alright, so we just got to Sean House and now we're gonna get this cut real quick. 
Yes, it do, nigga. We about to blow up. <laughs> that shit. How you living, bro? Busy, bro. Sorry. Show that, bro. How's the drive? It's pretty good, man. Yeah. Good, well, good weather. It got hot when you got the Fairfield, though. Yeah, I know. It gets warmer. Yeah. Definitely. Once you get out that Bay Area. You on the block. Yo, the homie just pulled up. What's good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you, player? It's funny, my friend Josh plays the piano too, like his name is Josh. Josh. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a Josh it's thing. A Josh. So just a temper and you want anything off the top? You think I should take, you can even it out, take some, you know what I'm saying? You cut your own hair? Yeah, good job. I haven't did shit in a minute because I was waiting for this one, so I wanted like just everything to go back. Okay. But yeah, you can take something off, bro. Just taper, take something off, you know, this made me look good. All right, so. That's the recipe. This, how much you weigh, bro? I'm like 178. What's the name of your company? Ergo, right? Ergo, yeah. There's a few aspects, man. I'm realizing. Do you remember in uh, Russell Brunson's book, Extra Secrets, they were talking about the big domino? Big domino? Uh, remind me. So essentially, it's a concept that, like, before you get people to believe in your product, your service, whatever, there's usually one domino, one big domino that you need to knock down for them that will, in turn, Start a chain reaction and knock down all their um, like false beliefs that they have about why or why not the products work for them, right? So as I've been going through the process of um, launching the brand, testing different messages, so on and so forth, I've noticed that there's like one big domino that I haven't knocked down for people prior to giving my message, which is why they should allow their dog. To do. Why should you allow their dog, to do, right? Now, the reason why that's a huge domino is because when it comes to uh, people with pulling dogs, whether you go to a product to solve the problem or you go to a trainer to solve the problem, the way they solve it is by eliminating the behavior altogether. They cut it out. Choke chains, pinch collars, no pull harnesses, slip leads. If you go to a trainer, they're going to try to completely eliminate the behavior. You, by the time you're done, your dogs should not pull anymore, right? Now, that's actually true. It's, it's true, right? They, 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 they don't, no one has created a space where it's okay for a dog to pull. But really, when you think about the people who are looking for those services or even those products, really all they want is relief, right? It's just the way that it's being solved so far is by pain compliance or by force, right? You have to ask yourself, okay, like, what do customers want? You say relief. So the, the whole adage is ask yourself why three times. That gets you down to the emotional thing that they actually want. So now the next question is why do they want relief? Who walking big dogs are I think walking big dogs is, uncom is uncomfortable coming first. So they want relief, but it's like why do they want relief? Like if I think about it from my dogs, when I go home, it's like I gotta retrain the damn dog. Yeah. Um, like bro, at the end of the day, like America loves pets. People just want to bond with their pets. They want they want to have a collaborative uh, bond with their pets. They want their pet to listen. And obviously they want their pet to be healthy. So it's like if you look at the best brands in the world, or like my, my two favorite brands is Apple and Apple, right? If you notice a pattern between them, they never talk about their product. Like Apple talks about thinking different. Nike, um, honors great athletics. They never talk about, oh, the bubbling issue will help your posture or help you jump higher or something like that. Right? Yeah, Apple, this is about the emotion. Apple never talks about, oh, these many gigabytes, this and this and this. Like, no, it, it's, it's catered to helping you create. Tell them about your leash, bro. Essentially, man, it's the first two-handed leash on the market. It's for people with heavy pullers, or people who have dogs that have high amounts of energy. Kids who have dogs that they have to walk, you know, as a tour, but maybe they're not strong enough to walk their dog. We make it easier by allowing someone to hold the leash with two hands. Because at the end of the day, it's easier to pull anything with two hands than it is with one. Like, we don't, no one plays tug of war with one hand. 
So why are we out here walking strong dogs, you know, playing essentially a game of chuckle or losing when you have more leverage you than two than you would want? So that's like the whole concept of when your dog is pulling, you can hold them two, when they're not pulling, you can hold them one. We call it the ergo piece because it's the only ergonomic solution for pulling on the market. And yeah, bro, it's dropped. It's at ergodog.com. We're about to drop a training program coming soon. Yeah. Bro, appreciate the fucking clap, bro. Y'all yeah, go buy his fucking lease, man. I'm telling you. Anna Reeves about to show us the. Okay. Her and Sean got the the, can, the candle monopoly in here. Don't mind the car, the look of the setup. This is just what we have to deal with right now. Nah, you're good. This is the reality of making candles. It's not always clean. I think this one might be Ube. Ooh, I wish y'all could smell these. What's your website name? Q How you spell that? That's K I E S S E N. Man, y'all go support the homies, man. What do you make these with? Are they like natural products? Or? Yes, so they're all 100% oh, soy, coconut, blend, wax. So there's no paraffin, there's no additives, there's no flavors. Everything is all organic. So you just want to make sure that the wax is not a petroleum base because that's what makes it not clean burning. And you know, the nasty stuff in your nose. So, Damn. this is what we have working with. Wow, which flavor is this? Or is this just so like... So this is just the wax. Oh, yeah, so you, so you you make the wax standard and then you mix the flavor right. after that. that oh, okay. way I could do both. And, it'll be good. and this is actually it's funny. This is a brewing machine. So like for like beer? So it's actually made to make beer like kombucha. Yeah. But it works well with, um, with the wax. This is what I do to get the wax out. And then right here is the current scent that I'm using. And all the scents are brand of clean scents. So basically what that means is there's like no no parabens, any of the toxic chemicals that are usually found in candles. We want to make sure that we don't have any of that. Okay, so, what's your top three favorite scents? Oh, that's hard. Honeydew, that's one of our best sellers. Also, the coffee is really nice. Coffee. Oh, and then the Egyptian Amber, which we have it named Golden Hour. It's kind of like a date night, sexy Ooh, vibe. Ooh, I like the Can know, I get one of these? Light that out. Yeah, so this is definitely a nighttime vibe, Twitter after dark kind of thing. After dark! <laughs> what kind of deals are you guys running right now? Travel tins are either $11 or buy three, get one free. Okay. Um, and the large ones, I don't have them out here, but um, those are $29 each or two for 50. Fuck yeah. And those burn times are 50 hours plus, so you'll have them for a while. And they got the wooden wicks for that nice yes. snap crackle pop. We love the crackling wick with it. Yeah. right here. That was in the detail. We have the coffee beans to reset to your palate. So when we do events, we have this out with, them, with all the candles. Yeah, you need yeah. that. Which is nice. Some people are like, what is that? I'm like, just gonna reset your palate. <laughs> hey, kitty. Josh just cut them up too. No, I'm just playing. And then you got Moody Mochi. He's like his dad. Nah. Yeah. Hey! Testing out these mics so we don't have no issues when we go to record today. All right, let's give it another try. Go ahead and start clapping. I was born by the river. So, you know. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> test it, test it. One, two, three. Can you see me? Can you see me? Everybody doing tonight. I don't even know what to say. This is mad awkward. <laughs> I figured out how to adjust it. Is this a good placement too? Yeah, it doesn't matter because I can adjust the decibels. You know what I mean? So it, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so I got cut up. We got the mic set up, play a little game of horse. I got my key essentials. And now we about to go back to my house and shoot this webinar, man. All right, player from the Himalaya. All I'll right, see you guy. in a minute. I'm gonna go home and shower. Just leave like 10, 15 minutes from now. I should be ready. All right, All right bro, see you soon. Got home. Pick the right candles, huh? Oh my god, this one smells amazing. Which one is that? Honeydew. It she said that's one of their top sellers. It literally smells like you want to eat it. So we nice and fresh, ready to shoot. Shower up and jump fresh. All right, y'all. So I'm showered and ready to shoot. Quick surprise for you guys. So we're gonna be shooting 
the, the second video right here but the other video and we're shooting from two angles uh from two different places because i'm not sure which one's gonna look better we're gonna shoot on the other side of our house which is fucking dope and sean should be getting here any minute now and i got a little surprise for both of us he just texted me and said he's out there and we're gonna open them both on camera i'm gonna let him in all right man so let's open this shit up oh shit I'm already knowing. Like, how'd you get this on the on the switch? Oh, Jada, Jada helped me make them. If you know, you know. If you don't, you ain't supposed to know. Come on, man. Yeah, that's 100% APY. Buzz down. Yeah, it's tight, bro. Good shit. Hell yeah, bro. I seen, I seen the box. I was like, oh, yes, we got sir. some dap. All our shit together. Ready to head on that. Gotta bring all this shit over. parties over here people sit down on this sometimes and it's kind of scary because look at this if you fall down here you're done <laughs> and my boy sean is done getting everything set up this is our other balcony where you see me shadow boxing gonna slide these open so we get a shot over here too Y'all wanna see the dopest montage of the footage we got? Head up, so strong. Purpose, motivation. Change comes, new suns. God and destination. All I want. Somewhere where I can be Your imagination Alright, that's a wrap. So the sun came out out of nowhere and it kind of fucked up our shot. We wanted to get right here. But we ended up just shooting it over there. So now we got to shoot the actual webinar, but first we're going to go grab tacos because we have not eaten in a long time. Like mm. when you actually compare them to actual positions, the numbers are off. Have you because seen? Because they use like pool data from the hourly like aggregates and stuff like have that. Have you used revert finance? Yeah, exactly. Okay. But that, that, that's what I'm saying. This, but this does actual positions. Okay. I'm once, gonna have to check out what you got, man. Shit. Yeah, because once you actually use a fake position, I the numbers are completely off. Damn. <laughs> How you feeling, G? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like a um, seven-day festival. Um, so now I want to go back to, but I might spend the same year if I took. This year has been the year of weddings, huh? Yeah, oh, but come on, fucking stop. Come on, I gotta stop. get this Everyone's one. Everyone's making up for lost time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very grateful, Dad. Especially when it's nice and hot. Because like when you tell them to put everything on, they just put onions on. And if you say, hey, everything but no cilantro, they give you actually everything. Like, I told everything this motherfucker, moi moi poquito cilantro. He just dropped them on there. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> How long you been working on this, man? Actually, this uh, this is a touch up. It's not uh, new. Looking good, man. It was 15 years ago. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you.
Just got back to the crib, about to charge up our devices and film the second one. It's been a long day. Yeah. So we about to get ready to film the webinar. Y'all already know what it is. It's been a long ass day, man. And I think we are gonna make it to the beach for sunset. Uh, or at least I am. Sean got to get back home. Uh, he was watching that Kanye documentary late last night. <laughs> Shit's inspiring, man, I'm not gonna lie. Well, yeah, man, we about to shoot this and then we gonna head to probably Fort Funston, a beach that's close. I was gonna go to China Beach, but I don't feel like driving about 30 minutes. If you know, you know. Got my little teleprompter over there. That's a wrap, man. We just finished shooting, man. How you feeling, bro? Yeah, man, it's been, a, it's been a long ass day, but I'm about to go to the beach, chase the sunset, and just uh, reflect on this, man. We're about to make history. There's no one doing what we're doing. And you know what's cool about our yield farming platform? All of our coaches are building yield farming platforms on their own. I'm a part of like most of the yield farming communities or, or groups, most of the investment groups, and the coaches, don't get me wrong, they're solid. But it's just different when you're building something. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if you're in business school, people talk about how they hate going to business college because their professors never actually ran a company. All of our coaches are building their own platforms and have been yield farming for a while. There is no other platform that's going to offer that. I'm telling y'all, be on the lookout. Well, look what the cat drug in. Give me a kiss, girl. Mm -hmm. How was you can cool. meet me in HD. Come on now. What's the Gucci? Oh, we just packed up the you. studio. All right, bro. Good shit today. Sir, yes, I was about bro. to come in. Hey, drive safe, bro. I'll see you next time, bro. Good shit. Mm. I can give you another one if you want. Thank you. No, that's perfect. Cool. I'll put the little sauce on the bottom. Yeah, Man, this is crazy how long of a day this has been. Now I'm heading to Fort Funston to see if we can catch a sunset. I'm literally gonna get there seven minutes before the sunset, but since we're going to the beach and it's setting over the horizon and out a mountain, we should be good. If I can have a productive day and watch me a sunset, don't get no better than that. It's gonna be a nice one today, I gotta feel it. I'll see how beautiful this is. It's like, perfect way to cap off the day. to see if we can make it to the bottom last few times i've been to the beach i've always been on top of a hill but uh, i like to get down to the actual beach you know what i'm saying put my foot in the water so let's see if we can beat the sun down here we made it i had to run down I'm not even gonna lie Yeah, our frame of reference. That was the stand that was on. Now we go all the way. Yeah, right there. Things. I'm like living out my dreams, man. Like 
y'all only seeing the tip of the iceberg. I got so much more for y'all. I'm telling y'all, stay tapped in. We build in something that's really gonna change the world and help people. And then I almost cried just thinking about how grateful I am just to fucking be here. To see shit like this. I'm 15 minutes from my house, man. God is good. How the fuck ever? I'm not excited about this walk back up, man. I'm pretty fucking tired, bro. Holy fuck, this shit is tired. And these, these ain't even steps, they logs. Almost to the top. Woo! The hike was pretty treacherous. Way easier on the way down. Now we're about to head home. Took me fucking forever to find a parking spot. Super tired. Jada made chicken. So about to go in and eat. Get a few more stuff done. And call it a night. Got a busy day again tomorrow. Honey, I'm home. Ooh -wee. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet potato tots. Alright, so we just finished eating. Now I gotta read. My day doesn't feel complete if I don't read a little bit. Yes, I am tired as fuck, but you know, you still gotta do it. You can only apply what you know. And I'm not trying to like go on a rant here, but it's like, I remember being young. I used to read like two books a week, like Goosebumps, American Chiller. I can still like remember the stories and remember the visions I used to go over in my head when I used to read them. Like I remember when I first moved to Arizona back in 2016, I was so broke. I couldn't buy the books I wanted to read. So me and James used to go to Cesar Chavez library and rent the books and we would, I, we was reading like two books a week because we only had a week until we had to return them. I don't know, I just feel like I have a higher capacity than the average person. Like I can just read, like right nowadays I'm reading like a book every week or two because I have so much to do, but like I can just read and read and read and actually retain it. Like I speed read as well. You know, I feel like I actually be using that shit. Like this is the best marketing book I've ever read. I'm almost done with it definitely recommend you guys read this. I'm gonna do a book review on this on my YouTube. I'll probably read a good 10 pages and then cap the night off. All right, so we finished reading, got my to-do list written out. One thing to have everything organized, but you wanna be able to separate the urgent from the important. So less brain power I have to waste on deciding when I have to do what. Just, I know exactly what I gotta do tomorrow. It is 11, 11. I'm about to cap the night off with this inspirational story. Dr. Bus was a genius, now he built the Lakers. So I'm about to watch this. I always like to go to bed watching something inspiring. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan. So it's been a long day. Thank y'all for tuning in. Little baby J, you wanna say anything? Bye. Peace out. See y'all next vlog. What next vlog? Oh. Nah. I'm just playing. <laughs> all right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all on the Turn next your episode. Turn post notifications on so you never miss a video. That too. I'll see y'all on the next one.